Hello friends, this is a tutorial series to design a screwdriver in Kitsia V5. And here you're looking at uh, some of the snapshots or uh, the rendered outputs from Kitsia V5 screwdriver design. And uh, here is the design and uh, the design part is already over and uh, only the rendering is remaining now. So let's just get into it. So these are the different outputs we get while we render. So firstly before rendering we need to apply the material. So this is a work in progress and this no this is a work in progress and this is uh, what which has already the material. So as you can see the material is here. So let's see how we can apply the material and do the rendering for the screwdriver. So firstly just make sure the whole design was done in two different parts under the same product and select the material editor and if it's not here you could find it here and just go for the material editor and uh, select the material which you want to do the rendering for basically the uh, the real materials like glass or steel takes a lot of time so I'll just basically go for uh, painting and just I'll apply paint for this so which would be a better option so fire red won't be good um, yeah this red will be, will be fine just drag and drop the material oh my goodness so okay just select open it is supposed to come I'm not sure yeah. it's here now select a similar material which is looking just like a steel but not really a steel so a light BG will do and that creates and completes the material part now it's just a simple rendering it's not uh, really so complicated as 3ds max so you could click on the camera button if you don't find the camera button you can always go here and find out the camera button here that must be there the render option will be there somewhere ticked the render is here now uh, you have different options here uh, for setting the lights and uh, the uh, background etc I'll just basically go for this one and uh, here is the option for uh, the quality of the render maybe high medium and low I'll just go for high won't take much time this is just for applying the rendering for only small uh, phases and this is where you're gonna do, render, do the render so let's wait for the completed render part and once the render is over we'll just uh, end this tutorial if you have any doubts on any of the part of the tutorial please comment below that particular video and I'll be trying to get in touch with you as soon as I can and if I and if I don't please be patient because uh, I'm trying to attend uh, all the uh, comments or uh, things which I get because I uh, now I have more than 4,000 subscribers and a lot 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 of viewers students uh, watching my tutorial channel so that's it and this is where what we have you can you have an option to save that as a jpg etc and uh, that's it for this tutorial series and if you want me to create a particular series for any of the uh, uh, tutorial you could uh, write to me at ketia.prodotuser at gmail.com you can contact me on the same email id for any project inquiries also so thank you so much and stay tuned